You must be wondering what is happening in this video. It is a very simple video where a tennis ball strikes the racket in slow motion. But it gives us a very important property of matter. Here when the tennis ball strikes the racket full of mud, the racket goes downward but the mud continues to stay in its state of rest for a fraction of second. It resists the change that comes to it when the ball strikes the racket. This property of body is called inertia. Inertia is that property of body by virtue of which it tends to resist any change that comes to it in state of rest or motion. If it is in state of rest, it continues to stay in its state of rest. If it is in motion, it continues to stay in its state of motion. Inertia is of two types, inertia of rest and inertia of motion. Let's understand this with few examples. Go for it, Stephanie. In the first example, as you can see, when the lady in the driving seat pulls the accelerator, the old man at the back seat falls backward. Let's understand this. In this, when the car is in rest, the lower part of the old man is in close contact with the car. When the car suddenly starts moving, the lower part of the old man also comes into motion, but the upper part due to inertia of rest resists the change and therefore the lower part moves ahead but the upper part is left behind so the old man falls backward. In the second example you can see this man is beating the carpet with the help of this racket to make it clean. Let's understand this. When the carpet is hit by the racket the carpet moves forward but the dust particles remain in the state of rest due to inertia of rest. This makes the carpet move forward and the dust particles come in contact with air and make the carpet clean. In the third example as you can see this man tries to pick up the fruits using his fruit picker. Let's understand this. When he applies the force to pick up the fruits, branch comes in motion but the fruit remains at rest due to inertia of rest. The fruit is weakly attached to the branch and therefore it falls down due to force of gravity. In the fourth example, we have this pile of coins on the carom board and when the striker hits this pile, only the lowest coin moves while the rest of the pile remains intact. Let's understand this. Here when the striker hits the lowest coin, the lowest coin comes in motion but the upper coins remains at rest due to inertia of rest and due to the force of gravity, the whole pile comes to the original place. In the fifth example, we have a coin placed on the card over a mouth of a tumbler. When it is hit, it flies away but the coin remain at its place and fall into the tumbler. Let's understand this. Here when the card is hit, it comes into motion but the coin on it remain at its place due to inertia of rest and it falls down due to force of gravity. Inertia of motion. Let's understand this with few examples. The first example we have here is a cyclist who is riding. When he stops paddling, still the cycle does not come to rest immediately. Let's understand this. The bicycle continues to move due to inertia of motion even after the cyclist stops applying the force on the pedal. It only comes to rest when this boy here stop it using his feet which applies the force of friction. In the second example this passenger when jumps out of this moving bus he falls down. Let's understand this. Here when he was inside the bus his whole body was in motion with the bus. On jumping when his feet touches the ground the road was in state of rest so his lower part comes to rest but his upper part was in state of motion due to inertia of motion. As a result, he falls in the direction of motion of the bus. We should avoid jumping out of a moving bus or a train. If in urgency we have to jump, we should start running on the ground in the direction of motion of the bus for some distance. 
in the third example as the car suddenly stops this boy who was sitting in a very awkward way gets a push in the forward direction and stuck there let's understand this here when the car was in motion the boy's body was also in motion when the brakes were applied the car comes to rest but the whole body of this boy remains in motion due to inertia of motion and gets a forward pull and stuck there in the fourth example we have this athlete who is taking a long jump but before he takes the long jump he runs some distance let's understand this by running some distance he brings his body in state of motion and when his body comes in the state of motion it becomes easier for this athlete to take a long jump in the fifth example we have this man who is throwing this ball on a moving vehicle but the ball comes back to his hand let's understand this here the car is moving and with this car the man and the ball are also in the state of motion due to inertia of motion when the ball is thrown upward it comes back and return to the man because of the state of inertia of motion I hope you have understood the concept of inertia with the help of these examples. Please let me know in the comment box how you like this video. Like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching.